and we don't want that. So what we're going to do now is just, we'll fix it later. We'll just make a new composition. Put together. Okay. Then uh, we'll drag this composition called the hand and this composition up here. So then it looks pretty cool. But then this whole black layer thing seems to be the problem. So if we just close this thing, it would look pretty good actually. I like it. But the thing about our Sengon is it doesn't it's it wouldn't look good if it's already there. I mean we gotta make it come out of nowhere, so we're just gonna change the opacity to zero for the at the moment. For this and this. Click the stopwatch, please. Never forget that. That's your best friend. Alright. So Rusting gun. All right. Then, if you need to move it, you can always move. Make sure it's selected, and you can just track motion. Track motion, but let's fix the opacity thing first. Because at the moment, you only see the little squiggly lines that we did with the particles, so. We're going to have to, around this time of the timeline, we're going to have to increase the opacity to where it was before. I believe it was 44 and like 70 something. No one really cares, but I don't know. Seems good. So, like that. So, so if you go back in time, their Sangon should fade in a bit. Except the squiggly lines, I kind of messed up on that. Oh shoot, let's see where it generates, that's where we want it to appear, so we're going to have to, before the point here, we're going to have to make everything to zero. Not there. Then over here. everything can turn to normal let's just fix these the opacity you can return it to 100 for the particle layers because you want to see those definitely because that makes it look like an actual Rasengan 70 something 44 Let's turn this to 0 Shoot, I forgot the stopwatch Just trim it down, keyframe it, frame by frame. It's annoying, but it's worth it. There you go. That's where we want it. But then, apparently, these things aren't moving, so at this time, we're going to want it at 100 and a hundred. Okay, now you've got your Sengon down. You've got the part where it generates now. See, it's in the middle at the moment and that's pretty gay. So we're gonna have the track motion here. First, let me just fix this. Okay. You're gonna want to track motion in the compo layer. So shoot let's forget this let's close this
we could actually delete this background layer. It's only good for helping us. Instead of track motion, we could always use a position, then just position it accordingly here. Then just keyframe it the whole way. That's basically the same thing. I don't, I don't know why I didn't think of that. It looks a little small, but you can make it bigger. I know it looks a little small, so I don't know. Yeah, make it bigger. just easy frame by frame so it doesn't look bad it'll look a lot less suck than usual all right I finished tracking motion so wherever the hand goes the thing goes oh geez lag hold on there you go, I finished it. Now the worst part of this whole process is rendering. Rendering is the spawn of Satan and you're gonna hate it. So just, you can either add in a render queue tab or just go, you know I forgot how to render, I'm so used to this whole thing. Well you can always just go help, blah blah blah, Find After Effects Help. Then search Render. Then, second one usually is the one. Read this. You'll get a little panel here. Drag and drop put together. That's the one you actually want, but my computer's pretty gay, so it takes a while to click something. You know, I got an idea. Let's skip forward time. Drag and drop and render, but you know, it's gonna take me like 20 minutes to render this and YouTube won't let me broadcast anything over that. So uh, yeah, good luck with your Rasengans. This tutorial, it's my first, so like, I don't know. Feel free to flame and spam comments, but like, you know, I'm just gonna like, you know, I don't know what I'm gonna do, just... Well, this is my tutorial, so, uh, enjoy it, you know, cause... I, I'm, I don't know, some people have been waiting for a while. Uh, yeah. See ya.